cool, cool. So we're gonna have Chris Terrian. Still sticking it out with Ken, despite the nerfs and the snacks. Uh, playing a Buki. Used to play Kami. Dabbled a lot with Kami. Moving on to the Okay. To the better I think the better choice. I think a Buki is pretty nice. Okay. I mean, you know, no loyalty to the waifus. I see how Snacks gets down, but no it is real what loyalty. it is. Huh? There's no real loyalty in Shane. I mean, if that's what you're saying. <laughs> all, right, well, all right, we're back. We're back. Shane's back. Oh, we are Sorry, back. Guys. 4G, guys. So you guys we go. get a name switch, and the prayer circle has been formed. The incense have been lit, and the peace pipe is being passed. We are back with Zowie Fighters. Chris Tatarian, of course, rocking that Ken default style. Against Snacks Abuki. I'm glad Chris Tatarian is still sticking out. He's had a couple instances at Wednesday Night Fights where he switched over to Nikali. Yeah. was really contemplating that switch. I'm mad that he's still in cash. <laughs> I want to see. I, yeah. I, I, I don't want to see Chris, you know, bitch. I don't want to see that. I want to see him pick a strong character and do his best with it. Ooh. Oh. 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 Keep him in that corner. Snacks with a good lockdown, good caging for right now. Yes, you can't keep jumping back, and it's his test. He's looking for you to jump with an easy anti air. It's gonna be a tough spot too. Snacks only has one kunai left. By the way, oh well, he doesn't need it. All right. Well, I was waiting for the V trigger confirm. Not gonna happen. Chris Tatarian with three air and hits. The third one turns into a full combo for the first round. Snacks. You need to stop being so scared to pull the trigger. Stand short. Snacks coming in hot. Oh, EX Tatsu, yeah, that's definitely not going to be at his favor. That's oh, sweet. Oh, wow. oh, and then the wake up three frame like from Tatsu. Clipping her with the roundhouse. That's a tearing. Yeah, no crush counter, though, so no combo. Oh, nice punish. Wait a check. That was a straight punish. He was mm -hmm. too close. Ooh. I like that a lot. Oh, no. Hands and arms inside the vehicle miss. Good choice. Using that viewer so to keep Snacks in the corner again. That life deficit, keeping that pressure on. Oh, yeah. well, Chris is going to be looking for the low forward super. Oh, oh nah. And you give him that, he's going to take the full damage. He didn't need to do that. He did it off in style. Foot to the face. He didn't need it. 1-0. Oh. Yeah, but Boogie might be into that, dog. You don't know. <laughs> She's a ninja. Real rough. Can Real win. rough in the streets. Chris Tatarian already getting the first game over Snacks. And uh, we didn't uh, we didn't see too much of Tatarian over at CEO. He got what? Well, he, got, actually, he got ninth. He, he got, got pretty ninth. far. He got pretty far. I see you only got ninth? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Right. Good stuff to Chris Tatarian. I didn't get to see any of his pool play, unfortunately. No, I was a very busy man to see you Oh, you were hella busy. I was a busy man. Ooh. Oh, oh he punished that. So the corner we go by waking up with the buttons. Chris T wasn't ready. Oh, back dash trying to sneak around to the other side, but checks it with the stand light kick. He still went for the target combo, medium kick, roundhouse? No, it's cool. Well, that oh, whips. my God. If you're crouching. Oh, he just actually took the V skill run to get his V trigger meter full. Trying to check him. We got the cancel. Wow. The ninjutsu miss. Yeah. We're just going to wake up with the roundhouse Tatsu. Get back into the low forward into the light kick Tatsu. Chris Tatarian. Turning it on. Oh my god. The confirm off of that. Tatarian now sitting on match point. Oh man, is turning on the after earners. Good That's lord. Sick. That's pretty sick. Fight. He's looking to clean this up. Set. Same side, yeah, a little bit. It wasn't as ambiguous as most mix-ups that Ibuki has. Oh, oh that's Oh, and he went for the EX uppercut after the block rider. Yeah, Snacks thought he was in range to punish that. Oh, gonna check him again. No anti at this time. Same Good alive. check. Excellent confirm. Terry Fantastic now confirm. Oh, the buffering. Oh, I should have went for the air reset. Could have had a lot more potential off of that. You see Chris, he's a little bit far away from the full V-Sugar, so he's looking more for those V-Skill kicks. Trying to fish for them. Oh, Ooh, was nice. that was definitely a buffer. Yeah, stamina and push around to the buffer roundhouse. Oh, oh, no. Didn't go for the side switch at all, but he's going to get the V-Sugar. Yeah, he's going to get the mix-up. Oh, no, he drops it. Drops Snacks. everything. That was a huge chance. Still has one bomb available. Chris T, a little bit of health left. Oh, checked, but no combo again. Oh, finish your plate. People in the stands putting their heads to their head. Oh, okay. I respect that. The kunai pierces the bare oh, foot wow. of Ken Masters. Yikes. One up. Yeah, that's straight home alone style, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All oh. the boom jumps. He stands short to the right. Overhead. No combo off of it. 
Excellent call. Snacks looking Same good. Side. Overhead, Chris T got caught Ooh. with his hands and arms oh. outside the vehicle. He did it for Puck. Oh. Puck sit, sat straight up. He was on the oh, floor. Yeah. He was and ready. he sat he straight up when he saw that. The god has been awakened. Oh, yeah. He was summoned Ooh. by Snacks. Chris he the, is he not a fan. He heard that tea kettle steaming, you know? He is not Ooh. a fan. Oh my Chris goodness. Chris is he going to give it back to him? No, what he's going to be doing? respectful about it. That's going to be the game. Chris Tatarian, full respect. No tea bags necessary. Yo, sit down, young one. You're going to learn today. You can get your five seconds of fame, hey. but I've been on TV. Don't forget that. Heads to bed. You can't do that to Chris Tatarian. Nah. Nah. You're not allowed to do that. Chris Tatarian, television superstar. No, I'm just playing. I don't know about but him. he was on E League though. That's what I was about to say E three. <laughs> he was not on E three. He didn't get invited to the Street Fighter event. Oh yeah. Body. Right. Now he's probably oh, at school. Man. You know how he is. Oh, you see Punk the God. Oh, we right got Punk the God. Going with the Bulbasaur starter. He wants to make it difficult Yo, on himself. Punk Nobody God? picks Bulbasaur <laughs> on starter. You don't do that. Who? Do you hear that? Nobody what picks that? Bulbasaur on start. You know this. I know what he's saying. I don't right. know either. Whatever. We're gonna ignore Punk. I'm gonna just The Alpha. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, you're just joining us with the Sally Friday Invitational. Um, currently on 4G at the moment, so it seems to be working better, so we'll see what happens. Yes, sir. But glad to be here in SoCal, chilling. It's a nice stage. It's a nice setup. Game Realms is uh, pretty good. Pretty, pretty nice venue. Oh, yeah, man. Game Realms here in Burbank, California. The 4G gods have been prayed to. Hopefully, they bless us. You know. As Zawi has been blessing the competitors of our tournament. By the way, this is a free-to-enter tournament. Yes. Zawi Fighter Takeover being real generous. Uh helping the scene by providing all these opportunities. Again, the first place winner is not only taking $300 home, but also a Zowie RL2460 eSports monitor, as well as accommodation and a return flight to the Zowie Fighter Global Invitational Finals. In yeah, Taipei. man. And a chance to compete for $35,000 first prize. Damon, I see you in the chat. That wasn't my fault. I'm a rookie to fly. You know this. You're going to catch the hands of Marvel Infinite soon enough. Don't worry. Hey. Don't worry. I like that. Punk is on stick. You're right, Z. Punk is definitely on stick unless he needs to go to pad. We've seen what happened at CEO when he was forced against, um, who was that from DR? That was Mena RD. Yes, Mena yes. RD forced Punk yes. to go to stick, and, or to pad, and he said, that was just practice. You're going to get effed up now. That's oh, exactly no. what he said on stream. No. My man Punk says that he's playing on stick nowadays because he needs a challenge. Yeah, he, he always does that. You know what I mean? He says it's too easy on pad. He wants to even the playing field a little bit. He's going to go back to stick, go back to his roots. This is actually how he learned Street Fighter, I believe, on good old-fashioned arcade stick. But he's yeah, found he's his... He's uh, a lot of stick. Yeah, he's he found his global success on pad. We're Round back in the original roots. And, of course, he's going to rock the Urian. We got to lock his secondaries no to see cooking up. Bad. You know what I'm talking about already. Oh, hits him out. Smug tuned in for the, some Urian mirror action. Oh, he's checked with the crouch. Jabs into the headbutt. Oh, we tried to look for the counter to set up. That's a big punish. Punk, you got to calm down, my friend. Get it cleaned up. Pretty decent amount of damage on there. He still gets the corner carry. Oh, my but he goodness. Just gonna, he's just going to jump in because he feels like doing it. And the double dash, getting the strong. He's definitely intimidating ending. Oh, yeah. Punk is looking high aggression all the time. Nice block so far. Well, never mind. My man is patient when the blocks need to be. Oh, he just goes with the cross medium. Oh, oh, no blocks. Oh, overhead. Check your cabeza. Oh, right into the critical R jam session in the building. Heaven and earth trembling before Punk the God. Yes. One, oh, well done, Punk. Round two. You're in looking basic, but it's looking like it's enough to get the job done. So Ooh, far. the wow. buffer stands okay. strong. That like was impressive. That was a charge buffer, too. Ooh. Ender's definitely one of the lower, uh, like, under-the-radar players. You shouldn't sleep on Ooh. in SoCal. But, of course, you're playing against Punk. Oh, yeah. He's definitely going to try his hand in this mirror. He wants to prove yeah, that he's the, definitely... Where's the Snorlax cap? Because he's definitely sleeping on everybody. I mean, it's good enough that he has Bulbasaur. They're going to... The chunky one. It's fine. He's going to hang out. Ooh! Oh, that's nasty. What we doing? The baits with forward strong and the start combo? Does it need optimization? Punk, the spacing is too good for Ender right now. Oh, uses the headbutt to close the distance into a throw. Can we get a pop in? Oh my god, I like that. He mixed it up between the full target combo to the low to activate. That was oh, smart what stuff. What's happening here? Put the mirror out. We got a response from Punk. Oh, he keeps trying to Man. press it. Aegis on Aegis. We still alive. Ender with full critical Ooh. art. Opened up EX headbutt. 
use the EX to catch that low medium kick. Very good stuff. Yurian wins. Looking good. Punk the God. You can see a little belly poking now. He said you've been eating good lately. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's Round definitely one. Justin Wong's influence. Justin and Martin, according Fight. to Punk. According to Punk. He's eating Punk's real words. good. He's getting all the Korean bar. He's a fireball to the face. Make sure to don't OD on those. It's definitely dangerous for your health. Oh, tries to the tackle. Good punish. Oh, right back with the headbutt, though. Um, these Yurians are swinging with their heads, their shoulders, everything Head in their bobbing. arsenal. Yes. Head oh, bobbing man. everywhere. Illuminati shakes. Wow, my three crowd strongs in a row. Enzo finally opening them up. Punk. We're gonna great life on Ender. Ender gonna open them up though. What's the mix up? We got the side demo side. set up. Which side are we going? Oh, actually got the other hit. Oh, oh. Up anyway. No. Oh, it's no. like that. No. Alright. So I was about to talk some shit to Punk for not blocking the overhead part of that, but yeah, then he just answered here super, so I gotta keep my That was shut. pretty good. What up? That was pretty good. Boom up, real nice. Ooh. All EX tackle. Oh, he tried to check. He tried to dash forward to be cute after that forward strong. It wasn't gonna happen. Punk fully aware. Yeah, we got the Batista bomb on deck. Oh, we're trying to open him up. Ooh. Ooh. Nice knees. Fire right back. Tackle space well. Ooh, to the EX headbutt. Stop pressing the buttons. Ooh, Ooh instant overhead setup. Punk says, yeah, I got those with Yuri and 2-0. Alpha. You know that was mad fast, but my reaction to it was so slow. It was like a second Three, after I grabbed Ringe and I was shaking him. Alpha. <laughs> God. Punk moving on to win his bracket. Looking for a chance at a trip to Asia. All expenses paid. That's right. Again, this is this is all for the Zowie Fighter Global Invitational Finals. Oh yeah. In Asia taking Fourth place. It's gonna be fully paid. One. It's gonna be the yes. trip. The trip there and back. Hotel accommodation. That well, was a nice chunk of change. Again, you know, in total, it's going to be seven hundred dollars. It's going to yes. be split between the top four here at here at Game Realms for the Zowie Fighter Takeover. Again, this was free to enter. You guys are sleeping. Uh, there's definitely another opportunity for this. Uh, you're not going to get the trip, but you're still going to get, you know, a very very decent amount of money in your pocket if you join yeah. next Tuesday here at Game Realms. Right if you haven't here. done so already, be sure to check out all their information. You can find them on Twitter at Game Realms. Yeah, right here back at Game Realms, of course. The Global Finals grand prize will be that 35K. You see Young Art talking that smack. Let me get this camera work over here. So I want to put it on the man himself. Hey, Art. The meme god. Smug. Young Smug. Fresh. With that Deadpool shirt. Fresh out CEO. What's good, punk? What's good, punk? Or what's good, Smug? I definitely said punk. That's my bad. We just got done with a match with him. Dang. What? What? Hey, the disrespect. Unintentional, unintentional, you know. No blood, no foul. No, I didn't hear nah. that. That's not what he said. You're hearing things. Yeah, you know, it's, I don't blame him. He does have a little bit of jet lag. He just flew in from CEO, hearing things. As well as I did. <laughs> I just flew in from CEO myself. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Smug had a pretty godlike entrance to CEO. It's definitely no Dominion. But this I is think in the he had the best entrance oh, of yeah. CEO. This is in the back of the uh, venue. My man Brent just blocking the camera angle. All right, I see you, That's bro. how he feels. That's how he feels. I see that's how I feel. So this is the back, <laughs> and then the, like you can see like towards the right over there. That's the rest of the store, but you can't really see it. Yeah, you can't really see very far. There's like, a whole backdrop behind us. Back on camera. Yes, yeah, so Smuggles Worth up against. Let me see who's the opponent in this. Check this bracket real fast. Yeah, so uh, um, if you haven't done so already, Art's definitely going to show you guys the bracket. Uh, for those of you, it's going to be on brachion.com slash bracket Oh, yeah, it's an exclamation point bracket yes, in chat. Yes, 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 yes. And you'll get the bracket. Uh, Smog is playing General Azad. Oh, I like that a lot. Who's General Azad play? He plays Bison. Oh, yeah, oh, that, General oh, Azad. Match. Oh, yeah, Smog's showing the uh, camera. And he's showing the stream chat. He's just showing that he sees you guys. <laughs> Every, everywhere. Yo, this guy, Punk, man. Glad to be here, of course. This is in Burbank, California at the Zowie Fighter Takeover. First place, gonna get an all expenses paid trip to Asia for the Zoe, the Zowie, excuse me, Global Finals and a chance at $35,000. Dang! Also walking away with the RL2460 eSports monitor. Yo, that's a nice chunk of change, man. We'll be doing big things for Street Fighter V. Real big yeah, things. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, it, it's because of a Zowie that I'm here right now. Yeah, that's right. You know, yeah. <laughs> 
You're obviously watching this on Team Spooky. If you haven't done so already, hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. You got the man on deck himself. This is not a Skype call. This is RL in real life. Arturo. Yeah, yeah I'm, I flew all the way across the Cali to use 4G. <laughs> this is true. Very true. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> dope. But the the 4G head. got what's good. Yo, Arturo. What's up? We got uh, our man's. Yeah, so oh, see, yeah. we are definitely reading chat 100%. I don't know if you're referring to us, but we are definitely in tune with the Twitch chat. So for those of you who want to express your opinions, we here. We live. I got to say, if you're in SoCal oh, too, here we go. there's no reason for you not to be here. Oh, the big man himself, General Azad, coming in hot. One of uh, SoCal's dictator players. Yeah. Sticking it out throughout the entirety of Street Fighter V. Pretty well known. And again, his opponent is going to be the man. Fresh from CEO. Yo, Smuck. King Smug, for those that saw the entrance at CEO. Rocking the crown. Carry to the ring. But I believe it was Jabaley and Kenny Omega. That is correct. And he had a gang of people from NLBC behind him for the walking. And then he paused and they bowed down to the king as he walked on that walkway. You know, he pretty much did, like outdid Knuckle Juice. Entrance. He did pretty much the exact same thing. He was being carried by all the Floridians. I heard about that. All the flow riders. <laughs> he was carried to the stage by like 20, 30 people. Smug only needed two. Yeah, Smug only needed two. And only one of them was from Florida, so he's automatically better. So, Smug versus General Zod. Round one. Fight. Poor Smug and Rocky. The Paul Rock, General Zod. The pips it. Going nice, getting that fierce, that buffer. Oh, just a quick ant here. Well, this is going to be pretty cool. Well, Zod definitely does not care who you are. He will play however he feels like playing. But Smug, he's just got the fundamentals. He's got it all. Oh, wow. Great jump back ant here by Smug. He knew. Had that, been, had that been just a regular head stomp or EX head stomp, that would have been Ooh. something else. Combo yeah. to the EX to finish it off. Smug with the first round of Thor. Oh. Yeah, gotta switch up the names a little bit. First round already going to Smug. Pretty convincing. Ooh. Ooh. A check afterwards. Wow, ends up going back to the original side. Smug opened up. Keep checking him. Oh, wow, just a dash throw that ain't real, but Smug didn't react in time. I like it. Still, Zod. Still kind of risky, but then turns it off and on whenever he feels like it. Oh, great. Yeah, short. Interrupt on the down forward fears. Good reaction from Smug. That was amazing. Goes in the distance with the EX rush punch. Tick throw setup. What are we doing in this corner? The delayed jabs too in between two of them. Some dirty boxing. Keep it nice and close. Right under the belt. Ooh. Below the way shots. No meaty so there. Much great thought. life on the side of Azad, too. Can't afford to get touched. Oh, to the other side we go. Smug didn't have enough EX mirror to spin it. Ooh. But he gets the throw anyway. <laughs> Smug. Azad taking advantage of, of Smug not being able to react. Yeah, I was going to say, a little hesitant on pressing the buttons against Azad's dashes. Got to wake up, my man. Just in time, too. In the right range. No Ooh, it's a whiff punish. You know he plays Duran, so he has experience in this matchup. Showing it now. Still got the headdress on. Oh, he's not looking to give it up anytime soon. Oh, Let's absorb this culture. Oh, great tech throw. It just See, finally comes off. One, two, whipping it right in front of Azan's face. Finally getting it open. Wow. EX. Suspend it. Has one more bar to continue some oh. that combo. Smug with the V reversal. There's the one that stunned to come in hot. The EX stomp. Another one. So much great life. Ooh. That fierce took it away. Still alive. Oh, oh. the reset. Does that meter to go into another special move again? Now forward fierce is plus one. Oh! Missed the opportunity to stand strong. It's no anti air attack. Okay, it's out of Devil's reverse blows up his anti air attempt. I don't know what that was exactly, but uh, I don't think Smoke pressed the button. I didn't see any counter hit there. I didn't see it pop up on the screen. I don't know. Fight. I don't know if he thought he was still in V trigger and he would go to the other side. But either way, Smug opened up. 1-0 to Jeremy Ozad. 
Bison coming in hot. We got a few dangerous Bisons here in SoCal. This isn't the last one you'll see on stream tonight. Pinoy is definitely in the building. Oh, in the crush counter. Ooh. Psycho Blast. Thanks for the extra damage. Oh, oh the no. other side. Azad looking real nice against Smug right now. Putting him oh. on the ropes. Smug, that oh, stun. Where are you reaching? Nice V reversal. Sick. Staying alive. Oh, oh V reversal right back from Azad. No mix up for that hand. mix up. Oh, screw. Oh, he tries to anti-air it again, but... Ooh, General Azad looking real nice right now. Works out perfectly for Azad. Match point on Pi Smug. You can't count Smug out just yet. Though. Of course no. not. Of course not. The kind of character Balrog is. King of Duff City himself. Oh. Goes in the distance. Still good block from General Azad. Ooh. Wow, great neutral jump back. Azad. Zod is just putting on all this pressure against Smug. Has to use the V-Reversal. Oh, dodges the Rush Punch with the Devil's Reverse. Stop it. Again. That's a good lead. So much great life, though. Can't afford to take a huge hit. Wow, close to the distance. Nice. Throw to so much through the great life. Party time oh, for great with punish. Ooh, no conversion off the counter hit. Still staying solid and goes low. Going to activate, activate the V-Trigger. A lot of damage. He's going to get a setup. Set up. Oh, he thought Smug would be wary of the throw. Nice anti-air from Smug. Still going to get that. That's plus one. No anti-air from Azad. Oh, one below. touch. One touch for either character. He oh. gets the throw over Smug. Puts him in the losers. And General Azad 2-0 over Smug. Ooh, popping off the guns. Yo, the dank one himself. General Azad. Putting Smug Ooh. into losers bracket. Damn. Damn. That was pretty good. I, I wonder, that was sick. I, no, I was wonder if Smug tried to do something at the end there with the scissors, or he just like just didn't challenge. It seemed like he was uh, caught in the lights Ooh. a lot for sure. Yeah. I blame CEO. He's really still good. tired. But damn, Azad, all the hollowing right now in Burbank, California. These guys are rooting for your boy. Yeah, definitely had the place going a little wild towards the end there. And General Azad clutches it out, gonna send Smug to losers bracket. Bruh. He is a dangerous bison, man. He has a Capcom point. I believe he, he has, has one. one. We're he has a single one. Capcom Let's point. Let's go. And that's all it takes, man. You can see anybody with a Capcom point is definitely a threat. General what Zod. Blow up. Sending smuggles blow to up losers. Blow up Tuesdays? Is this real? Is this? You know, you know how it is, man. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually is blow up Tuesdays. <laughs> that's yeah. what it is, right? Zowie Fighter Takeover blowing it up here for the first place prize winner. Going to be taking home oh, yeah, $300, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> as well as an RL2460 monitor and a fully paid expenses trip to Asia hey, for a chance right. at 35K in the Zowie Fighter Global Tournament. Man, that that was definitely a blow up. Smug, definitely not phased. He's still going to make it out, uh, still make the most of it out of losers. He's definitely not out of it yet. Again, that was only winner's side. We are still getting it real popping here at Game Realms in Southern California. Yeah, uh, all right, yeah. I think I have a Zowie Fighter's uh, ad to play. Oh, so so, let's get to it. Yep, let me get to it. Oh no, sound is off. Well, I'll fix it in a second. Well, basically, Shine is just popping off like about how good Zowie is. Smug is like, <laughs> see that monitor? It don't lag, it don't lag. <laughs> okay, Chunk, I see you. <laughs> Twan, you know, everybody's just basically just repping Zowie. And these monitors are good, you know, I do own oh, a lag yeah. tester. So, I have tested them before. Like, I wouldn't back anything that I didn't think lag. That, like, that I thought, that I thought lag. Anyway, look at Shine. He's like, yeah, I got that esports money. I'm going to Taiwan. You see how happy hey, Shine I'm, I'm, is, I'm, I'm man? With it. That is a grin from <laughs> That grin is so funny. Oh, yeah, hold on. All right, so it looks like we have Chris anyway, Terrian. Yeah, Chris Terrian on deck against Black Skills. Yeah, so you're going to expect uh, Ken, of course, versus Vega from Black That's Skills. Right. Black Skills, one of the uh, locals for Wednesday night fights. Yeah, I always, so often at SoCal I always forget he plays Vega in this game because he played DJ in 4. Yeah, he definitely played Vega prior to DJ coming yeah. out uh, back in Street Fighter 4. Of course, yes. Oh, man, Damon in the chat talking about how if you played Marvel at CEO, they were on the Zowie monitors. Feeling or the movement felt great. Mm -hmm. Marvel Infinite SEO, I'm glad to report. Round it was one. definitely my biggest concern. Fight. You can also check out a full 16 game set between Justin Wong and the Filipino Champ. Oh, yeah, you posted that on I think, my uh, Twitter. Yesterday, yesterday morning. Yeah. Good check work, man. Thanks. Real good work. 
So we're going to have Chris T stepping up once again. This will be his second match on stream tonight. For Zowie Fighters Invitational, you can see some of our other competitors in the back right there. Before we get our mans back on camera. So again, just for uh, for those of you tuning in, this is the Zowie Fighter Zowie Fighter Takeover here at Game Realms in Southern California. Again, you are watching this all on Team Spooky, the man with the plan, going coast to coast, straight out of CEO, and then back for your viewing pleasure at NLBC. Yeah, our man Arturo is behind the boards here in Southern California, Burbank. And don't worry, everyone watching right now, because he will be back behind the boards at NLBC tomorrow night. I don't know how he does it, but he will. Yeah, I'm literally catching a plane at 3 a.m. It's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. East Coast time right now, almost. Okay. Are you flying cool. out of Burbank? I hope so, because that's mad close. For nah, me. LAX. God, man. No, Godspeed, my friend. Oh, Chris Terrian versus Black Skills. We got it going. Ken versus Colleen. That's new to me. That's definitely new to me as well. Fight. Black Skills definitely in the lab. We'll see. We'll see how it pays off. He wants to get on the blonde hair train. I don't blame him. Blonde hair, blue eye. That's how you win. The character seems pretty good. That's why Ken's not winning. He's brown up. <laughs> the jump over, he's going to be able to switch the corner position to his advantage. See if he can really make anything pop off from it, though. No conversion off the cross up, still gets the corner posi positioning, though. Yeah, I don't think Chris was expecting a hit. Oh, just another jump over. No player really looking to cage their opponent inside that corner situation. Checks him with the medium low forward. Wow, Ooh, the whiff great. punish. That was, that was glorious. Try to check him out. Oh. Ends up hitting the EX top two corner carry combo. Oh, oh my goodness. Stop reaching. Uppercut. One more hit. Oh. oh too risky. Stop reaching. Too risky. Can't be doing that. Black Skill still Round has uh, a couple rounds to warm up. Chris Tarion already on the board. Pretty convincing in the first round. Oh. Oh, he tried for the parry, but just whiffs. He's going to get the counter hit punish on that. I still respect that. I'm trying to enforce that again. Because Terrian finds a jump in, though. Oh. Doesn't finish the combo. Backdoor. Oh. Yeah, not cleaned up. He's going to punch that light kick, but not for a full combo again. Blast skills going away. The slight opportunities he gets. He's going to get the pressure going. V reversal out. Oh, oh so punch. Punch. He wasn't. He was kind of weary about the last time because he missed the opportunity before. He wasn't sure if that was a real punch. It definitely is, though. Yeah, stun meter frozen. This could be a big opportunity for Blast skills to find another hit. Finds a hit, he's gonna let that bar go. Oh! Nice! More than a hit! Gets the confirm off a low forward. That is a. And Colleen! Yeah. Arms and legs also inside the vehicle at all times, please. Gets flipped low on the dash in. Chris Letarian confirms right into the critical arc. Very strong play from Chris Letarian. I couldn't even tell that was a, that was a buffer or not. That was way too close to come. Player one oh, yeah. That was pretty sick. Five win Black Skills Round still one. has a chance to fight back. Fight! You gotta show us that Colleen work, man. Oh, ends up getting Chris T hits. doing something. Oh. Flinching. Blast breaks on the roundhouse. It's gonna take the V meter to build with a V skill run up follow. And Tiers can't just jump in for free like that. Oh, of course, the crush counter on the roundhouse builds some V meter, so when he follows it up with the V skill kick, it does build a significant chunk. Oh, oh God. Crush counter doesn't really get much off of that. That's it's gotta be a punish. Punish a little harder than that. And he actually ate the fireball, so he's gonna give him a full combo. Chris Letarian, this is what he wants. Corner situation. What are we doing? Neutral jump. Not biting oh. just yet, but he bit him the second time. Persistence is key. Oh, he tried for the light kick. Had a very little box done on it, so he ends up getting thrown himself. Black Skills gonna go right into the critical art. That's not gonna be enough damage, though. Very close. Ooh. Critical art, please. Oh. No, he got clipped with the EX fireball. Not close enough to get that setup going. Yeah, it looked like he went for the Diamond Dust into the Bandy step, but just eats a fireball on the approach. Unfortunate for Blasco. They need to cover that a little bit more carefully. Ooh, fireball. Or excuse me, fire DP, anti-air. Nice use of me still there. Exactly what he needs in the neutral. Something refreshing. Nice. Yep. Terry. Oh, confirms off the crouch medium kick into the EX Tatsu. Very good. Still out of the corner situation. Looking for her to crack open, but not just yet. Oh, oh Black Skills. No conversion. The icicle, yeah. Stun still staying frozen, but he eats it back strong. Down it goes, yeah. As soon as you hit Colleen, that stun gauge is no longer going to be frozen if you're hit by Diamond Dust. Ooh, trying to micro walk up forward and open him up. Black Skills staying strong. 
There it is. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Black Skill's trying to hide behind that ice bolt. Oh, right to the super, Ooh. and that will be a wrap. Chris Tatarian, 2-0 for Black Skill's Colleen. There were a couple of opportunities that Black Skill had uh, when he was on the offensive. A little, a uh, couple of drops here and there. Uh, something he needs to work on, just kind of sharpen up his Colleen. But Chris Tatarian, very much so on his game. Advancing further on the winner's side. Again, this is the Saudi Fighters takeover at Game Realms in Burbank, Southern California. Who yeah. are they trying to win today, Rinch? Oh, they're trying to win $300 for first prize, $250 for second, $100 for third, and $50 for fourth. But first prize, in addition to that $300, it's a Zowie RL2460 monitor and a fully expenses paid trip to a Zowie Global Tournament in Asia for a chance at $35K. And not only are the Southern California monsters here, but we have Smug in the building, who oh, is yeah. already in Losers via General Azaz Bison. And of course, we also have Punk the God in the building still in Winner's Bracket. Yeah, we got a bunch of heavy hitters, uh, as expected from SoCal. We got the San Diego Fiends oh, uh, with Pinoy leading the charge. You also have Alex Myers and Commander Jesse, who just so happened to be Team SoCal coming up for the weekend. Yes, Red Bull be this weekend. All three SoCal representatives are in the building. See Brandon is cool, also in the building, ready for his chance at fully paid expenses trip, fully expenses paid trip. And you see right there, two members of the Trinity. They are skyping with Julio as we speak. They're just talking to him, having a great time, wishing him a happy birthday. Oh wow, it's Julio's birthday. Yeah, that is it is that is true. It is his birthday today. Big happy birthday to Echo Fox's Julio. <laughs> yeah, he said something about your whack. I don't know. I couldn't tell what he said. What'd you say, Brent? All right, Ooh, that's all cool. Right. All right, whatever. All right, Brett. I don't know what I he's referencing. He I think he's referencing himself because he hasn't been playing Ken lately. So yeah, I think you know, that's true. I feel you on I that. Think, I think as soon as as soon as you said that, he turned bright red. He's like, "Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was speaking about myself." <laughs> Clearly, a Chris Brown fan. Oh, all right, man. that's cool. It's all right. But, Thank uh, you all. <laughs> but you know who is loyal? The team Spooky fans. So they are Ooh, tuned yeah. in oh, once yeah. again to the Zowie Fighters. What's good, Art? Chilling, man. Thank you guys. Look at how nice this venue is. A lot of nice posters. We actually wall, have some yeah. ill shirts here, man. We have some ill shirts. Yeah. Uh, so this is only a part, like a very small portion of the actual venue itself. If we were to be able to like turn the monitors around, or excuse me, the cameras around, you would see a giant array of classic games behind us, a ton of space. And like what, 15 setups for Street Fighter V? Oh yeah, that's a lot. A uh, okay, so up next is Brent. Yes, Brent is oh, cool. Yes, oh, it is losers. So you got. All right, all right. So oh, we got some Javi Rock. Okay. Javi Rock. Oh, against Javi, also already in losers bracket. All right, these are some two uh, two SoCal sluggers. Yeah. So to speak, these guys like to hit some buttons and hit each other. You know, Brent. Actually, nowadays, I feel like his main game is Super Turbo. Uh, for the most part, he played a lot of that at CEO. Yeah, I, was not, in, uh, I actually played him a lot myself. We played ST at the arcade room. And he plays DJ. His DJ is pretty DJ. nice. His DJ is pretty good. How'd that go between uh, you two? Well, uh, well, like, I beat him, but that's a good matchup for Sim. Right. It's actually mm. one of us Sim's better matchups against okay. DJ. So, so it's like DJ can win, but you gotta be, <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be really on point when you touch the death um, combos. Yeah, he also tried. Not easy. It's not easy actually. He also tried to be nice and third strike against Whoa. me. That didn't happen either. You know what happens? You know, Brent has definitely won, I believe, the most improved player in a Super Turbo at Wednesday Night Fights. For sure. Via Killer Miller and the boy El Trouble. But Brent is going to be sticking with the Ken. I know he's playing a little bit more Balrog lately. But against Javi Rog's Balrog, he doesn't want to run the mirror. Going to go to the tried and true, the Trinity Classic. Let's yeah. see how it goes. What is the prize pool? It's $300 for first place, $250 for second, $100 for third, and $50 for fourth. That it is a free to enter Round tournament. One. First place also. Free to enter, by yes. the way. Yeah, emphasizing that. First place getting an all-expenses-paid trip to Asia for the Zowie Global Tournament Finals. And a chance at 35K. But we back at it. Javi Rog has Brent is cool in the corner at this point. Ooh, crush counter on the fierce. We gotta be careful on our V-skill movement. Blocks that the overhead. We gotta not punish. Something you should do. That wasn't even meaty enough to get anything oh. going. Activate. Last breaking again, gonna use the roundhouse toss to get him out of the corner. Oh, just a fake the overhead this time. Still not biting. Oh, we got that turnaround punch into the V-Trigger setup. My goodness gracious, you're almost dead. Ooh, could have swept him. Could have been in line to sweep. Still chilling. Fireball, he's actually gonna land on top of it. Avi Rock, stop eating these, my man. Oh, and the throw! The commitment oh, man. to throw it. 
Brent with the appropriate response. Both for critical art for your yeah, face. That was way too anxious on the side of Hobby Rock. Yikes. It's two fireballs that he didn't Round need two. to. And just gets opened up by the low forward and the critical art. My man, you need to calm down and keep your composure. Man, people popping off here at oh, Game yeah. Realms. You hear all the, the oohs and ahs in the background, but Hobby Rock. Let's focus on this real quick, oh getting the throws. He's gonna go for another one. No, he's not. Oh, he's looking for that young boy bounce back, but he's gonna get thrown in the corner. Oh, Ooh. He just goes for the V skill, Brent. Not expecting it to press a button in response. Max Finn, yeah, he has to make that save. Yeah, and that's super plus after the V skill. Or after the V sugar activation, I should say. Oh, just goes for the three frame like a doesn't get it. Our, we have our we are missing here. Some of the action here in Burbank, California. Somebody is popping off behind us. Actually, the oh, entire yeah. the entire audience, all the players too, pop yes, it off. What is going on, Art? Come back. I'm we gonna, need you. Yeah, we'll, we'll find that out soon enough. But we got Brandon Cole waking up with an EXDP, going back into the corner. Let's pop in. What's good? Punk got blown up off stream. Oh, that, that's that's what I figured. Game. That's the only that's the only reason that sound would yeah. be that loud. <laughs> Who did he get body by? Let me check the bracket. Chris and Terry and Kisolan, a young punk. Dang, that's because Punk left the Bulbasaur hat on. You said it was the worst starter, and he's not having such a good one himself. Hobby Raw is going to wrap oh, so up this first game. So he lost to a Trash Boat. He lost to the birdie player from San Diego. Trash oh, Boat in the wait. building. Trash Peasy. That, that was in our quarterfinals of the Yo, bracket. Yikes, you Trash must, Boat. You got to understand, man. Losing to someone named Trash Boat is never that's a good feeling. That's the feel. worst. It's never a good feeling. What the hell is a Trash Boat, <laughs> Ringe? I don't know, man. Brent is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Looking to avoid becoming one himself. <laughs> what a sec. Because <laughs> he, he's on the verge. It's definitely 1 0. What is that? What is that? Yikes. First smug, now punk. Damn. The SoCal blow ups. Oh, that's plus one. Oh, goes for the turnaround push after. Brent is cool. Oh. Got caught reaching. That's going to you know, be a perfect. I don't blame Brent because he doesn't have an earpiece to listen to what level that tap was. Oh, man. Definitely bodied if you can't hear it. Round two. Fight. Lost to Trash Boat, dog. <laughs> oh, Yo, is famous. that real? Yo, is that real? What, that is what? cool. Lost to Trash Boat. Oh, yeah, it's real. Bro. Unless no, you, the brackets aren't updated. You can see the look on his face I'm still. It's definitely it. real. I'm not, I stopped <laughs> looking at the match. I'm looking at Punk right, right now. Sorry. I'll be wrong. That's plus one. Tries to check him again. Brandon's cool actually ends up with a sweep. Tosses him back for Robbie Rock, keeping that momentum going. Yeah, that was a meaty rush punch on a combo after. Wakes up with an EXDP though. Gets the full combo. All that risk for a medium amount of damage. Yeah, well, okay, that is minus two, so he reverses off. Nice, nice answer. Here. Oh, oh. Oh, he thought he was close enough to the corner to get the DP. That's actually going to cost him the entire Man. game, unfortunately. One error. He immediately turns around to Chris saying, you know, I thought oh, I had it. It's, it's this game. It's this game's fault. <laughs> no, man. You weren't even close to the corner. He, was not close to the he corner. wasn't. No. That was his fault. I'm sorry, son. Definitely not close to the corner. You weren't close to the corner, dog. Uh, I think I think Myers is playing. Um. <laughs> so what do you mean? You weren't. All right, you're quiet over there. All right, anyways, we got Myers up Bushin, on deck. Who's Bushin playing style, against? Bushin style. Bushin oh style. Oh, my God. Okay, no. Alex Myers is Bushin style. These guys definitely go head to head pretty often at Wednesday Night Fights. But Bushin is always giving Myers a headache on and off the game. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. That is the lore. Is that with Myers and Bushin style, like Myers is one of those guys that where you think like he's solid enough that he shouldn't have too much trouble with the with the Busha style, right? The leader of the dojo, <laughs> but man, the last practitioner of the Bushin style. <laughs> yeah, I think the wild style of Bushin just yeah. gets to Alex Meyer sometimes. Gets under his skin. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, he gets under everybody's skin. Hey, I, mean, I, I gotta true. be real with That's you. That's definitely his uh, his stuff. I've definitely tried to uh, warn him on an occasional or a daily basis. <laughs> his uh, his strongest asset <laughs> is making sure to get in your head. Right? Even he's, if you're not playing. No, exactly. Yeah, That's no, the no, no, worst no. part. As a person, what do you he's all about doing? getting under your skin. I don't know, man. Well, he's a he's a emote now, so I mean that's that's something. Let's not let's not talk about that. All right. I, I told him I was gonna plug it, but I was just lying to him. You know what I'm saying? He does a lot of dirty things. I wanted to do uh, a dirty lie to him. It is what not it gonna is. happen. Not gonna plug anything Bushin style except for the dojo itself. So we're gonna get Myers lined up and ready to go. 
course, a Kami player. Has definitely been uh, rising in the ranks as Street Fighter V has been going. Definitely been showing more and more improvement as uh, for each tournament that he goes to. Didn't have such a quite successful showing as yeah. CEO, I think. But he was definitely cracking out. Uh, he went to the room with like a lot of the Japanese players. You saw that infamous picture of Daigo. He was just yes. hanging out. He's like, oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, exactly. See memers cracking out with, um, who was it? I think it was Verloren, too, was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he definitely meets up with Valoran on every major and tries to like wow. talk it out with him and see what's been going on in the world of Kami. That's a fantastic person, person's mind to pick, right? Valoran is an incredible Kami, potentially the best in the world. Alex Myers, of course, always looking to grind with the uh, best players possible. Man, Stupendous in the chat has his own hey guys. That I mean, is, is it, he should. What a god. He definitely should. He's so smart. So it's going to be Myers, Kami. Bushin style with Sheed, of course. Tried and true. Oh, off handshake. Yeah, he's, he's the one that initiated the handshake. Okay. That's, that's a pretty new uh, breaking news That's what I was going to say. That's new. It's the Bushin style. Is this, is this the 2.1 update of Bushin style? No. No? No. <laughs> oh, like I don't know. What, oh, I think that was a glitch, honestly. <laughs> Zowie you guys Fighter. Are tuning in to the Zowie Fighter takeover here in Burbank, California at Game Realms. Brought to you by Team Spooky, the man with the plan, going coast to coast. Again, we can't thank you and Zowie enough for hosting us here in Burbank, California. Yeah, man. Of course, first place walking away with $300, an RL 2460 monitor, and an all-expenses paid trip to Asia for the Zowie Global Finals and a chance at 35 k Oh, God. there it is. Classical. Come, Come on, on Classico. Come on, Come you on know man. You know better. Classical of all people, going to be putting the Bushin style face in chat. Yeah, Stupendous also in the chat, having his own Hey Guys is pretty godlike. I'm disappointed. Shout out to, to Stupendous, a very hard working man, both uh, on and off the video games. I don't think he's here today. Wish you could have had him. Sherry Genix also in the chat. Fight. Another hard working individual, both on and off the games. We have Alex Meyer started off real quick. This is exactly what he's looking for with Bushin style. Actually, with the media light kick short, there. Yeah. Bushin style wasn't ready to take advantage though. Spinning mixer block from a distance. Ooh, again, crouch fierce. The button to go to with Rashid. Oh, nice buffer, Myers. Yeah, and he won back quite a distance. Bushin and style. the punish? That was sick. Good awareness. Ace Roll when trying to bring it back. B trigger actually interrupts. Oh, trying the to go block. back to the side, but Myers ever aware. Not opened up by that. Oh, jump in, actually stay on the nice. same side. He gets it this time. The throw bait is real. One more touch, yeah, crouch short, short. Myers getting the first round of game one. Double up on the crouch short. That's going to be the first round for Mr. Alex Myers. Spinning mixer in the face. Oh, he just hit him with the stand reset. Back That's three. Back. No conversion. Uh, Bushin style on the full combos. Oh, and then the stand fierce right to the drill and the back throw to get the corner positioning. While you press some buttons, we opened up. That was a nice, uh, well placed oh, dive no kick. No in the anti air, but Bushin off the Ooh. wall fling. Doesn't convert for the full combo and allows Myers to take the momentum back. I don't like that. Oh, keep oh, that feature to yourself. Are you kidding me? Keep it to yourself. That was sick. Myers taking the first game. Ooh. Notice the startup of V-Trigger went straight into the drill. Great awareness from Myers. That was godlike. Yo, Alex Myers. Clean first game. It's going to be 2-0. That was amazing. Round one. Yeah, kept the whirlwind tornado Fight. to himself. That's some significant startup. I'm stealing them. Oh, that is, I like that. That was sick. Nice oh. here. Back strong. The go-to. Oh my god. The placement on these dive kicks have been immaculate. Oh, that's meaty. Oh yeah. EX spinning mixer. You know Bushin Style was feeling the heat. Let's throw Bushin Style with a whip punish into the V-Trigger. What's the mix-up? What side was that on? Myers didn't even know. Oh, just interrupts him with a stand fierce until the V-Trigger confirmed. Oh, oh, are you reaching? Smart stuff, reaching in, call Bushin style. At the deficit, Myers on match point. Round two. Yikes. Fight. Yeah, Myers looking to conquer any type of problems that Bushin style used to give him in the past. Looking real good. Oh, does commit to the full drill that time for the quick punish by Bushin. We in the corner, nice block, but opened up. That's positive. Or positive. Yeah, keep yourself plus if he hits at the angle and below, or excuse me, at the shin and below. I definitely was gonna say plus it. Ooh, possible. I like that. We should just use that. Whatever. Ooh, same thing. It works. Ooh. Back into the corner we go. That's the neck crack. Another one. No 
confirm this time. Gets out of the corner. Pushing style is going to go for the punish. Yeah, not a lot of damage, but he still gets to set himself, set himself up. Ooh, good job by Myers right there. A little reluctant. You know he wants to activate Duke Trigger, but doesn't need to. Gets himself on the board. But for Bushin, not going out like a chump. No 4-0. Gets himself round. on the board. Fight. Go Kirk, go. Oh, wow. Spitty mixer to start it off. Alex Myers not deterred, though. Goes and presses some jabs of his own. Oh, dive Ooh. kick in the building. He's hit almost all of his dive kicks so far. Oh, Myers ate a lot of those stand strongs earlier, Ooh. so he's hesitant to press the button this time around. Finds an opening. Yeah, he found that crouch fierce, and he made him pay for it. Boosted south. Waking up with stand short. Trying for the chop, but he recovers this time. Not get hit by the dive kick. Oh, crouch fierce actually anti airs. Double time. Activation station. Push it to the corner. Exactly where he needs Ooh. to be, but here comes Myers. Looking for the shimmy attempt, Bush style not buying just yet. Doesn't have his V-Trigger, but does have a full critical art. Oh, whips the dive kick. Doesn't care, doesn't matter. Gets the landing with the crouch jab afterwards. Taking out Bush and style. We're putting him into losers, I should say. Oh yeah, and you gotta raise that camera a little bit higher. Myers, tall individual. Huge. Yeah, Bush and style gonna be falling to the losers bracket. Alex Myers continuing on in winners. Looking for that trip to Asia and a tr and the chance at $35,000. Gentle Giant Alex Mears. My ears. <laughs> the classic. We definitely saw Myers out in uh, Alhambra. We were chilling. Chris T, Brent, Steve, myself, we were watching Alhambra. one of the games of the NBA Finals. Uh, and I found out that Myers is the one that cares the least amount of, about basketball. Yikes. Even though he's the tallest of us all. I don't yet think another, he plays any sports. Yet an, yeah, he doesn't care about sports at all. Yet another waste of height yeah. in the world. Oh, that's all right. Big up to Alex Myers. Well, give some of, give Real us some of that. Yeah, right. I know you're you're a decent, decent yeah, height. Yeah, I'm range. decent. Yo, decent, give man. your boy vicious some of that height. <laughs> I need it. Yo, where he, we at in the brackets, man? Yeah, that's gonna put him into a uh, winner semis. Yes. Ooh, wow. Um, we're moving along. Okay. Yeah, it went along pretty quick. I mean, I figure we have a lot of setups here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So over on, over in pool one, uh, General Azad and uh, SC Alexis, they're bound to play. Uh, Chris T. Nice. And the winner of Commander Jesse and Unprotected Sex. Unprotected that's Sex right. making it really far. Myers does like baseball. I forgot about that. Oh, so, that's right, yeah. So that's pretty much what we're waiting on now. Um, and losers right now, uh, Smug and Chris win. Uh, yeah, still waiting on some matches. Black Skill. Oh, yeah, Black Skill is happy rock. It's okay, happening. Okay. That's a good one, too. So moving along, of course, this is the back area here at Game Realms. This is the, where we're setting up the stream station. Behind us, the commentators are about 15 Street Fighter Five setups with plenty of space. A ton. So that's why the tournament is moving along very nicely. Yeah, it's in a case, uh, you've seen this, and you're in Southern California, you see this venue, and you're like, wow, it's pretty small. No, that's actually just the back room. It is huge. The exclusive stream station area. So don't trip. There's plenty of places to get your games going if you're looking to come out to Game Realms again. Now, next Tuesday, you won't get a chance at the trip to Asia for the $35,000 tournament, but there is a weekly tournament every week here at Game Realms. That's right. Uh, is it with a prize pot as well? Is it free to enter or no? Uh, for the most part, the Tuesday ones you have to pay for. This specialty yeah. right now, this one's the Invitational, free to is free to enter. However, you can definitely check out the information on Zowie's website. They do have another event coming up on the weekend, uh, June 24th, this Saturday. They do have another uh, Zowie tournament here okay. at Game Realms with a thousand dollar bonus pot. And just in case you guys are just tuning in, we do have special guests Smug and Punk in the building, but they are both in losers bracket. Dun dun dun. Smug sent to losers bracket via General Azad's Bison, and Punk sent to losers bracket via Trash. The boat trashiest of birdie. boats from San Diego. Yes, there is NLBC tomorrow. Your boy Arturo, despite being here in California at about 10 p.m. PST, will be flying out at 6 a.m. to make it to Jesus. NLBC in time to stream the uh, the weekly Fiend setup that you guys all know and love. That is amazing. Yeah, of course, hey guys, so make sure to give him got props. Up. You know who just stepped up? I don't know who these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Alexis and General Azad. Okay, cool. It's going to be Alexis, going to be rocking that Ken. Alexis uh, definitely has um, the Bison knowledge down. He does play against General Azad uh, as much as he could, but he also has one of the best Bison players in Southern California with uh, SD Pinoy. They also go back to back at every event, whether it's Wednesday night fights, yes. Red Bull events, Proving Grounds. You know, he's he's definitely got the matchup. Azad, on the other hand, 
has plenty of Ken matchup experience with the likes of Chris Tatarian. Yeah. Rents is cool. Sometimes Chris win when he was playing Ken back then too. Yeah, of course Chris win nowadays is the bison. You see General Zop popping off the virtual bullets. Let's see, Let's see that man work. Look at this guy. He's feeling it right now. That's, how, that's his warm up. That's the most annoying warm up I've ever heard. <laughs> He's saying it's the best, I highly disagree. So I, I've talked to a few NorCal people today. They're like, man, how is it in SoCal? Because NorCal is apparently an oven, and you guys are not used to that. See, here in SoCal, this is usual weather. Honestly, we didn't feel that bad today. Usual stuff for us. I know I talked to a lot of people in NorCal. They were like, man, it's so hot. I don't have AC. And it struck me for a moment, like, why don't you guys have AC? But I understand NorCal doesn't get as uh, heated as it does right now. Look, man, I'm in that struggle right now. I live in the valley, and it is super super damn hot and i have no ac that's definitely a definitely a problem see now you yeah that's definitely a problem being in socal not having ac that's uh that's not okay shout out to super fx and the <laughs> old house it's so hard it's not man. okay at it's all it's so hard <laughs> i'm surprised you made it here round one alexis versus general zod Fight. we're gonna get a quick name switch before uh we keep it going and then we'll uh get to the match of course alexis is gonna be rocking that can of zod with the bison and yeah, Alexis is going to be a lot more ready for Azad than Smug was, right? He's played against him a few times, knows that Azad's uh, got a, a bit of a hybrid style between playing lame and really going in when uh, he sees the opportunity, where he smells blood in the yeah. water. And you got to think, for Alexis, that's a huge weight lifted off his shoulders, because now he gets to go up against somebody familiar. Oh, no, he doesn't press a button on the run. That is not real at all. General Azad couldn't interrupt that. The three, two, Ooh, still nice. Azad. Still stealing the momentum back from Alexis, fighting his way out the corner. He doesn't have any beat trigger to extend that combo, nor the meter. Ooh. The anti here, but he ended it early. Still taking the momentum for himself. Waking like up with that. a three-frame light kick. He tried to go for a thunder step or the just the fake step in general. Oh, he exit stomp. Oh, oh he wake up, the up slide. So oh, he got him. Is it gonna be it? That is it. Why yeah, he spent the bar. Nice call. Stop reaching, Alexis taking advantage of the shimmy. Gets him on the throw tech and will take the first round for himself. He had so much life to just sit there and take the throw, but Azad, again, caught reaching in the cookie jar. Ooh. Down four Pierce, got to be careful. That's plus one. Lex is not looking to challenge it. Oh, run into the fireball. Nice, way to contest that stand short, getting that cycle blast right afterwards. The follow through, yeah, very good meter usage. Cycle blast, and so much great life and chip. Yo, the soccer kick, midway through, that was nice. Jump back short. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Try for the EX double reverse. Great Yo. response from Alexis with the EXDP. That oh, was beautifully done by Alexis. Great oh. awareness. Let's go keeping the pressure up. Oh my, so much great life was built off those down forward fierces, and then he just finds the hit and takes it. Cashes all the way in. Again, so much great life. Just That's from the normals of Bison and the, the throw. Putting him up against the ropes. Still alive, though. Alexis also with the round advantage. Close to close. The mix up? No, nothing. Azad keeping it alive. Now he's going to go back to neutral. He's going to play around a little bit. Yeah, he saw the desperation. Azad could have got a little bit more off of that. Could have gone for at least a back throw, built himself some meter. But you know what? A win's a win. That's just fine. Yeah, just cleans it up with the staying short. All knotted up here in the first game. Alexis taking advantage of that dash attempt. Ooh. Yeah, and the checks using the fast normal three frames for Azad. Yeah, huge buff to Bison in Season Ooh. 2. Oh! Punch the slide. He didn't have V-Trigger to cancel it. Full control oh, catches no. the dash forward. Getting a ton of damage. Here comes that BD pressure. No nothing. Gets the stand short. Azad trying to fight his way out. After... Going to go into the V-Trigger, but Alexis just jumps out. Oh, the Slayer stuff. Get your ankles crossed, my friend. Man, the pants off dance up. He caught him. He caught him again. Not blocking. Oh, to the other side sick. of the V-Reversal. That was too good. V-Trigger is ran out for Bison now. Alexis is not going to have V-Trigger available just yet. He's using those V-Reversals. Doesn't want to deal with the Bison pressure situations. And TRS to be had from Alexis. Again, Azad, though. You see the jump roundhouse into the stand Ooh. fierce. So he much great life. Oh, nice trade off, though. He reversal again on the Ooh. down forward fierce. Doesn't want to deal with that plus one situation. Oh, he 
try to dash in after. Got a little bit of greedy. Alexis oh, opens him up with the crouch forward. What a check stand jab. Caught the counter hit with the low fort afterwards. Getting Excellent win. placement from Alexis getting game one over General Azad. The man who put smug and losers. Oh, yes. The team dank in the building. No thumbs up. We got the DLC hand signs. We're going into game two. Okay. Well, again, checking him with the leg kick into the scissor kick. And no button presses from Alexis. Great patience there. Just letting it rip. All right, I respect it. And he gets the throw bait. Tons of damage off that. Again, trying to go for that thunder kick setup. It's just not in time. Oh. I don't know what that was. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to whip on into the EX Tatsu. Not going to happen. He just wakes up anti-air. Zazad gives up the corner situation. That's not a good look. V reversals to keep the pressure off. No anti-air on the Devil's Reverse. V reversal on the on board Fierce again. Not wanting to be at that plus one. Man. Checks him with the stand light kick. It's three frames. Let's not forget. One it's side. Yeah, he opts just to not press the button and not risk anything. Well, Devil's Reverse from General Zod now. Both Ooh. players abandoning their V triggers at the moment. Trying to implement those V reversals Ooh. more and more. But Azad still has enough life to get another V trigger bar V gauge. But he's gonna even need it. No, he missed the whiff punish. He could have got that throw bait from Alexis, but he still manages to get the air to air. Stay air to air. Jump short. Kick. Yeah. So Round nice. Two. So nice to look at. So far. Both players starting off patient. Wow, then Alexis just ends that with a raw jump in. No anti-air from General Zod. I give the jump in. Alexis, despite staring at him for the first couple of seconds, just goes with two aggressive jump ins. And now in an EXDT win. But again, no meaties from Alexis. This is very unorthodox of him. He's he plays super solid for the most part every time we see him. But Zod just happens to find all these uh, stand shorts. Yeah, he's been blowing up a lot of Alexis' pressure with that. And then the pre up the anti-air. Loses to the Devil's Reverse, but another EXDP on the wake up. Very good call from Azad using that far fierce that buffer. He's ready. He's ready. He's applying this pressure to Alexis. No button presses. Alexis really reluctant to try to contest oh, that. Again, another EXDP on the wake up. That's about four this game. Is he 100% on that? Yeah. That is insane. Oh, overhead, he but he hits him with the airborne, so he just knocks him down. Oh, and the stun. Alexis is stealing that round from Azad. My man, keep your hands Ooh. to yourself. Keep it in the vehicle Final at round. all times, or you're going to face the repercussions. Here's the first again. No contest from Alexis. He doesn't want to risk it. The back throw. Oh. The crush counter. And the oh. extension. Alexis picking up the combo. I like it. Amazing. Great awareness. Again, using the V reversal. Definitely not committing to using that V trigger at all this set. Oh, wow. What is that for fierce anti-air? Yeah, it just surprised me that it actually works. He's pushing him to the corner with the dashes. The blast giving him back that corner to only close that space oh, and sneak behind him. Me. The Alexis. stun is building up. Still not quite. Not just yet. It might have been stunned if he actually got for the back throw. It does have a little bit more stun. Oh, real tough spot now. Alexis has no feature. He's oh, not going to get enough. Oh, for the anti-air. It's usually really good against EX Tatsu. Zod, nice view reversal right there. Ooh. Good way to slow it down and not get antsy. I like that. He's going to back off. Make sure Alexis hangs himself instead of committing yes. to anything risky. Oh, yeah. Projectile is super good at that point when he block it. Oh, too risky. Alexis, again, he's just trying to close the gap, oh. but he lands on the EX Cycle Blast. The EX Cycle Blast with a little bit bigger of a hitbox than Alexis was expecting. Lands directly on top of it. General Zod can tie it up 1-1. As the brothers give the dink symbol back up. And they're going to go into game three. A very smart play from Azan, just choosing to back off right at a moment's notice, knowing that he has full on life advantage. Back to the fray we go again. It's tied up one to one. And again, if you're just showing us General Azad is the bison who put Smug into loser's bracket. No anti airs to be had. Azad pretty much on point for the most part. For this round, just letting Alexis slide. Now he's going to get this. Corner pressure from Alexis. Oh, yeah, he tried for the initial jump, but he ended up getting tagged by the Fierce from Ken that time. That's plus one. Whereas Alexis respecting the options for Bison right now. Oh, good delay on the anti air that time. And yeah, beginning blowing up for going forward earlier. General's not trying to crack Alexis. Oh, so my God. Dash gets to the other side and avoids the anti air. 
he still has plenty of meter to burn to extend all these combos. One more opening for Azad could be lights out for Alexis. Ooh. Wow, interesting anti-air attempt Ooh. from General Azad right there. He's going for the EX stops. I don't like it. Alexis. Oh, that meter. He's being, oh, jumping aggressively. Still no anti-air. Got to figure he's going to do it. He Ooh. hasn't stopped. Oh, my God. The neutral jump well placed. Catching that psycho axe. Alexis is showing you that he's willing to keep jumping, and Azad is not stopping it. This is a huge problem at the moment. A menacing walk, Azad. Not afraid to just walk up to your face, but Alexis is not having any. Who tried for the same roundhouse to get the crush counter to break the glass? Alexis with a great anti-air until the run under. Excellent choice. Just dashing under, doesn't want to eat any of those mix-ups, nor does he want to be confused. With whatever Azad plans to do after the follow-up, the reset! Again, he tried for a tick throw setup with a three-frame light kick. Gonna blow it up. Oh wow, Alexis is just jumping out. A lot of gray life on his side. A lot of gray life on both sides, actually. Oh, and he's gonna cash it out with a low forward and a scissor kick. EX Cycle Blast tries to keep the pressure going, but Alexis knows it's not real. Ooh. Universal lot. Alexis just wants to neutralize Ooh. that pressure, but Azad swiping right back. Yes. Can he get the meter to kill? He doesn't even get to use it. Didn't even need to. Just ends it with the extensions of the raw scissor Final kick. Round. One up. We're going to the last round here. General Azad versus Alexis. Oh my wow. God. I can't believe the neutral jump roundhouse whiffed completely. Mad invincibility on that. Nice check from Azad. Yeah, stand like again. Cycle blast. Ooh. Good spacing on the sweep from Alexis. Both players tagging each other with small damage so far. Oh, I like that from Azad. He even put those reverse early and then going right back into the EX stop. Very hard to read. It's so demoralizing too if you want to get an air approach. But the way that hits, the way it tracks, it's really, it's really nasty. Oh, wow. chin. He actually used the forward dash to avoid the jump in and then hit him with the stand roundhouse. That was so good. Oh, throw loops. No baits this time, Azad, oh, but he still gets opened up. No full combo, though. General Azad oh. has his chance, tries to go to the other side, but Alexis is like, you're not going to pull that twice on me. I don't like he that idea. Not real, goes with the no way. Be it. He General still gets Azad. it, and Azad didn't even know that was going to hit. He is chuckling it up. Azad he had no idea that was going to hit. And he takes it for himself. Damn. He's looking rather pleased. Team Dank member General Dang, Azad. He got away with the sickest, <laughs> sickest BS I've ever